Hi, today's April 8th, 2013. We're in a basement in Lewiston, Maine, approximately 1,100 square foot ranch style house. And our goal in the fall was to install a heating system at a low cost, a minimal pipe size, minimal uh, everything that we could think of to make it more efficient. And I think we've accomplished it. We're using a ModCon boiler, a Wiesman Vita Den 200. And the input is approximately 93,000. The net is 75,000. Based on the minimum output of the boiler, which is approximately 25,000, uh, in our low temp heat zones using heating edge baseboard, we would have created a short cycle situation of the boiler. So to eliminate that possibility, we've gone with the TurboMax T33, which is a 36 gallon, three coil domestic, tank which we're utilizing for the domestic demand as well as the buffer tank considerations. We've piped it from the Vita Den's boiler which does not have an internal circulator using the external Alpha, Grenfis Alpha pump, piping through the TurboMax, out of the TurboMax, into the Webstone HydroCore, into another Grenfis circulator and you can see the wattage Usage is two gallons per minute, approximately 10 watts, and that shows you an electrical efficiency. We're going into Takeo Century Zone Valves, which are the efficiencies. You can run approximately 12 on a 40 VA transformer, just to give you an idea of the old Takeo Zone Valves. We're feeding our heating edge baseboard with half-inch HEPEX. Um, which there again cuts down on pipe size, labor. Uh, everything as you can see is minimal pipe sizing and the operating cost of the system using natural gas is approximately $500 this heating season. Electrical we have not calculated but based on everything we can see we know it's going to be a savings compared to conventional methods and the system was installed by Dave Bollier, D&D &D Plumbing and Heating of Lewiston, Maine. His number is 207-212-8285. And I helped design and wire the system. Uh, my name is Bill Patterson, Versatile Plumbing and Heating in Auburn, Maine. Uh, my website is bill at, I mean, excuse me, my email is bill at versatileph.com. Website is versatileph.com. And I think we've accomplished what we set out to do, which was a nice, efficient, clean-looking, small footprint system.